Jeb, how are you doing today? I'm fine, Bonnie. How are you doing? I, I'm great. I'm really great because I am loving this series. I am so into this. And I have to ask you, uh, when you, I guess when the gauntlet was kind of handed to you, I guess from Michael Hurst, what was the best advice that he gave you when you dove into this? The only advice he gave me in this was, was one word, and it was, at the end, it should feel nostalgic. And that's such, it, that's such a Michael Hurst thing to say, which is, you know, which is like, we're doing a biking show here. How is that going to end up being nostalgic? But when you stop and think about it, um, and that was it, there was no instruction or prescription on, in, involved in that. But as I've, I've spent three years on this now, Bonnie, and, and, yeah. and I know that, that the time period, it's a, the Vikings are a wonderful group to write for because it's an egalitarian society. It's great right. to write female roles. Because yeah. you're not making up what it was like, you, you know, women could divorce, they could, you know, they could own property and rule kingdoms and things like that. And yeah. also it was, a, it was a time period where, uh, you know, somebody without any means, if they had the bravery and the guts to do something, whether they were a male or female, could accomplish it. Um, we know by 1066, uh, all that kind of went away. Yeah. So I know that that's what Michael was referring to in this sort of end of the Viking era period. And so I want to milk that that piece as much as possible, because it really was a wonderful moment with a very, you know, we don't think of the Vikings as being the most progressive people of all time, but they quite they quite were. Oh, yes, yes. And, and I mean, let's just talk about this cast. I mean, they're all so fabulous. But seriously, could you not have cast maybe better looking men? <laughs> well, we'll work okay. on that. We'll work here, on here. that. This is what I've been doing, talking to them. Honestly, my friend. I mean, they're all so good. But, you know, I could talk, you know, we could talk for hours about it. But I want to ask you about Sam, because Sam Corlett, who, of course, plays the very, the most famous Viking. We've all heard of Leif Erikson. What would, you know, what kind of discussions did you have? Because he, he just plays them so beautifully, really. Yeah, I give Sam a lot of credit. Uh, you know, it's hard to play a laconic lead. You know, um, when we when we would have our original sessions, and you know, we got we got hit in the early days with with COVID, so we had to sort of stand down. But that gave me time to have these kind of Zoom calls with with all three of them, and yeah. we got to know each other and their characters really, really well during that period of time. And one of the things that Sam and I talked about was, you know, playing a laconic character. You know, think about the the great ones in film history, whether it's Gary Cooper or Robert Redford, you know, it's like everybody wants to play Mel Gibson because that's like, whoa, it's just a high octane. But it's really hard to do that. And I think Sam is plays, that's who I felt Leif Erikson was. He had yeah. an inner strength. And right. Sam definitely brings that to the table. No question. And the females too. I mean, uh, Freda is just spectacular in her fight scenes and then her, um, you know, the journey that she goes through internally, spiritually. Um, just tell me a little bit about working with her too. She's just phenomenal. She's just really the rock. She is such a rock for this show. She, um, you know, she, from the very moment we started with her, she knew that character. She, she just embodied that character. And, um, and I found that um, a, 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 a lot of women just really gravitate to her storyline, to, to, to what she's gone through as an abuse, you know, yeah. person and the way she stands up to it. And, um, and that, was, that was an interesting character. Lots of conversations. You know, she's also a woman who is, is very comfortable in her sexuality. Yeah, so, yeah. so how do you, how do you reconcile a rape victim with somebody who is also comfortable with who she is? And, and so, you know, it, it's great to have those, you be able to have those really tough conversations with an actress who is confident about the role she's about to take on. It, the, the, all three of those roles, Bonnie, are just e easy to write for because, yeah. um, because of those three actors. Well, you've done a brilliant, brilliant job. I can't even tell you how excited I am to see. I know it's been, you know, what, 24 episodes that it's contracted for. So keep them coming, okay? I can't oh. wait. And thank you so much for thank your you so uh, much. time. And, and thank you for everything you've given us over the years. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Jeb.